Hello there, this is Roberto Matthews with another quick tip. So I'm always looking for the best way to create a gallery in my blogger, side-by-side -side pics in my, in my blogger <clears throat> and things like that. So um, I wanted to show you that there's a much, much easier way to do it. You basically have to just write maybe three lines or three entries in your CSS in order to get a nice gallery. Um, and so let's just go ahead and show you. So the, what we're going to do here, we're going to name this side-by-side -side picks and we're gonna say um, very easy okay so now that we have that we're gonna make sure we're in the HTML area here we're gonna add our uh, pictures and so let's just add a few pictures here let's add one that has uh, let's tr uh, I don't know let's try my sites by birth area here so it has all these pictures here. We're going to put, let's try, um, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's try 12 pictures. And as you can see, they're all different sizes and it won't be a problem. So now that, oh, and you want to make sure that there's no alignment here and you can use the original size. Now, the reason you want to use original size is that the quality um, will be maintained. Now, uh, once you click on it, it'll bring up the best quality one so it really doesn't matter let's try let's just just go ahead and use medium or extra large doesn't really matter I'm just gonna go with original size that way it makes I maintain good quality okay so here's all the pictures here's what it looks like there's no formatting or anything done on them okay now um, all we're going to do is we're gonna press enter here and we're gonna add some code here we're gonna say style style okay and that's where our CSS is going to be and then we're going to wrap all of these in a div and we're going to name our div gallery now um, I'm going to name it gallery but I wouldn't recommend it what I would recommend is naming it the title here that way you can make sure that um, every gallery that you make is completely different so for example you can put here side by side picks Okay, something like that and then close the tag up here and close the and complete the tag down here okay and that's really all you have to do so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to um, we're going to target we're going to target from inside out so let's target the image so as you can see we have the link here that's so that when you click on the picture well I can't show you here but once you click on the picture, the actual big picture is going to come up and that's going to be your gallery. So what you're going to do is you're going to target the image and to target the image directly, we're going to go side by side pics, the A in there, or we can actually go straight to the image. Okay. And we're going to, we're just going to say that the width, oops, let me see, one, two. That the width is 100%. Okay, when we say let's let's say uh, save, let's say preview, and now all the images fit within my uh, my photo here. Next, we're going to say that um, we're going to go out towards the. Let's copy this. We're going to go outwards toward the, the A tag. So this, this A tag is going to kind of work like a little div within a div. And we're going to go to that. We're going to, we're going to make a flex box. So we're going to keep this open for now. And we're going to go ahead and say for the actual div itself, we're going to say display flex. Oops. And then here we're going to say that the flex, since we want three by three pictures, we're going to say that the flex width is 33 percent okay oh what we forgot to do was say flex wrap because right now what it's going to do is going to just put all the flex run after the other okay so we're going to say flex and then we're going to say flex wrap wrap and then we say save and actually let's go ahead and publish this and go to view and now we have three by three. But if you look closely here, 
you can see that it's kind of overwrapping here. Now Blogger puts this little um, padding on all the images. You actually, you can really see it here. It puts a padding on each one of the images on this, um, this template that I have. So to fix that, let's go to edit. To fix that, we're just going to go to our image and we're going to say box sizing ah, border box. Now, if you don't want the padding at, at all, you can just say padding zero, but I like the padding between, so I'm just going to say um, border box. And as you can see, it puts it right next to each other, and that's basically it. So when you click on it, now you got your gallery down here. Let me click away. Now, when you have the cell phone, I don't want it to be three by three because if it's on cell phone, Let's refresh to get the cell phone version of this. When it's on a cell phone, it might be a little too small. Okay. So to give the fingers a little bit extra um, space to work with, we're going to make this 50% when it's below um, maybe 450 pixels. So to do that, we just say edit. We're going to say at media screen and max width 420 pixels and right here where we say flex 33 percent we want it to be we want it to be um oh and we got to make sure we close this here 50%. So update. Come back over here. And now they're at 50% when it's a certain size. So when it gets, so we still at 375. Here we are at 425 and it's, it goes back to three by three. Okay. Very nice. Okay. And right here we have to go since it's full, we'll go back to the full size. Okay, so that's basically it. That's how we very easily, oops, not view, I want to do edit. That's how we very easily create a gallery in our blogger without much to do about anything. You know, all we have to do is one, two, three, and I have here a fourth because of my media screen. But if you don't want to do that, you can just do these three right here. So all we did was we created a flex area. We made sure that it was flex wrapped. And then we wrapped each one 33% so that we can have it side by side, three by three. And then we went into the image and made sure that the width was 100% so it could be flexible. And we took away the, um, the overlapping padding by saying box sizing was border box. Really cut and dry and you can you know copy and paste this to all your galleries and it will work perfectly and we didn't do anything we didn't have to do anything to each one of these a tags or to any one of these image tags okay thank you very much have a wonderful day